In this video, we're going to learn how to use the setw stream manipulator in C++. Stream manipulators allow us to do things like affect the formatting of the output from a stream. And the setw stream manipulator allows us to output data into fields of a specified width. So to use setw, we'll include the io manip library where setw is defined. So we'll say include io manip. Then we'll go over an example of using setw. So here we'll make an int variable called area, and we'll set it equal to one, two, three. And we'll output this value using cout and the stream insertion operator. And we'll output it followed by an end line. So if we save and run the program, we'll get one, two, three. And notice how one, two, three is right up against the edge here. Let's try using setw now. So here we'll say setw four. So set w is going to output area into a field of width four. Just so we can see the effect, I'm going to output one, two, three, four, five below this. So on the next line, we'll output one, two, three, four, five, followed by an end line. And we'll save and run the program here. And now we get one, two, three, followed by one, two, three, four, five. But notice how one, two, three is now shifted over by one character like this. What's going on is that area has been output into a field of width four. And the field basically takes up these characters right here, those four characters. And one, two, three has been output into that field. And by default, it'll be right aligned in that field. And this space character here, we call the fill character. So the remaining characters of the field will be made up of fill characters. Let's try to change set w to five. So if we say set w five and we save and run the program, we're now gonna get one, two, three output into a field of width five characters. And now you can see we have two fill characters being used because we have two remaining characters in the field of width five after outputting the three characters that it takes to output the value of area, which is one, two, three. We could actually modify the fill character. So here we could say set fill to star followed by set w. And if we save run this, we'll have modified the fill character to be a star instead of a space. We can also change the alignment of the field and make it either left aligned or right aligned by using the stream manipulators left or right. So here we'll say left and then C out and we'll continue on down here. We can split things up across multiple statements like this and that's okay. That won't have any effect on the functionality. If we save and run this, we should now get that the one, two, three value is left aligned. By default, we had right aligned, but if we change this here to right, and we save and run the program, it will now go back to being right aligned as well. So one thing we could do with setw is use it to help us build a table of output where each column has the same width. So let's output a table of rectangle areas. We'll delete this here, and then we'll output a title here, just saying rectangle area table. And what we'll do is have a loop nested inside another loop. And the outer loop is gonna modify the length of the rectangle. The inner loop is gonna modify the width of the rectangle. And we'll put a table of rectangle areas for given lengths and widths. So the first thing we'll do is output the headings of the table. Now I want the first two columns to be left aligned and the third column to be right aligned. So here I'll say C out left. So that way set W is gonna have a left alignment. Then we'll say C out and I'll say set W 10 length. So my column for length values is gonna have a 10 column width. And I'm gonna maintain that width by using set W whenever I output anything into this column, including the heading. Then we'll say C out set W 10 and width. And we're doing the same thing here. We're making a left aligned column, this time called width, 
that's going to be width 10 characters. Now the area column, I'm going to make right aligned. So I'll say C out right to switch set W to be right aligned. Then we'll say C out set W four and then area. So the area column is going to be only four characters in width. And then finally I'll say C out and line beneath this line of headings. I'm going to output a row of stars. And because we have 24 characters between all of our columns, I'll output 24 stars and I'll use the loop to do that rather than counting out 24 stars. So I'll say four int I is equal to zero. I is less than 24 I plus plus, and we'll say C out star. After all that's done, we'll output an end line here. Now we're ready to start outputting the data for our table. But before we do that, let's just save and run this program first to see how we're doing so far. So we get rectangle area table, and then we can see our headings here, length, width, and area. And you can already see that length and width have been output into fields of width 10 characters and that they're both left aligned. Next, let's output the data into our table. So to do this, we're going to use a loop embedded inside another loop. And the outer loop is going to go over a range of lengths. The inner loop is going to go over a range of widths. And we'll put the area for those lengths and those widths. So we'll say here for int length is equal to five. Length is less than or equal to 25. Length plus equals five. So we're going to take length from five to 25, skipping by five values each time. Then we'll do the same thing with width. We'll say for int width is equal to two, width is less than or equal to 10, width plus equals two. So the range of values is different, but it's the same idea. We're taking width from two up until 10, skipping by two values each time. Now we can output a table that computes the area for these combinations of lengths and widths. So we'll say C out left. Because again, we want our first two columns to be left aligned. Then we'll say C out set W 10 and we'll output the length. So we're putting the length into a field of width 10 characters to maintain the 10 character column width of this length column that we first started creating up here. We'll do the same thing with width. We'll say C out set W 10 and then width. So we're also outputting width into a field of width 10 characters to again maintain that 10 character column width for the width column. Next, we'll flip the alignment back to right by seeing C out and then right. And then we'll output the area values into a field of width four characters. And we compute the area by saying length times width. And finally, we'll output and end line here because this is the end of this row in our table. So finally, we'll run our program. I'll just fix that. And we'll output a couple end lines here just to put some space at the end of our program's execution. So if we save run this, we now get this nicely formatted table where we have these columns here where length is a column of length 10, width is a column of length 10 and length and width we can see are left aligned, whereas area here is right aligned within its four characters. And the way we've done this is by consistently using set W to output values and the headings themselves into fields with these specific consistent widths. That's a practical example of how we can use set W to help format our output in C++ programs. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.